Hello guys and welcome to Disney Dreamlight Valley Reddit review. This is the first Reddit review from after the update and I remember seeing everybody being super duper excited about the update. Belle was the most anticipated and wanted character in the entire game. People were crying on how good this update uh, was gonna be for looking from all the spoilers. So I can bet you anything there is no way we are getting a single negative review in the top post because everybody was super excited. There is zero chance of negative. People hate Bell. <laughs> People hate Bell. Okay, so basically the point here is that Bell looked like this from uh from the art from the trailer. And then in the game, well, first of all, first of all, for, for, first of all, it is not fair to take a low quality screenshot in a completely different pose. Extreme, like I can bet you anything they they, they cho chose the screenshot then made the quality less or made it very zoomed out so they had to zoom in because let, let me show let me actually show you the actual how Belle looks in the game. Here she is. Here is Belle. Let's zoom in on her. Let's let's take a look at her in a good light quality. Let me take a screenshot right now. Okay, so here is here is the real Belle and here is the Belle from the picture. What are the differences? Okay, the hair in a promotional picture goes on top of her shoulder. It just looks a little bit more fuller. I'm not gonna lie, I kinda like the bell from from the game actually more than the one from the promotional picture. Am I crazy? She actually looks like a person, not like a Disney print. Look at this. She is hot. <laughs> they took probably the most unfavorable screenshot of Belle from the game and compared to promotional picture th the most unfavorable angle yes her dress is not as flowy but so are I don't, I don't know the, the dress is not as flowy the, you, you, the the face looks slightly different shape the hair goes back instead of on the shoulder this is the Belle from the movie from the original movie. Which, in my opinion, looks spot on. Spot on. What she looks in the game. Look at this. It's spot on. If anything, the bell on the picture here looks less as bell than the person on the right. I don't know what, what I don't know what's your problem, guys. Also, her movement. Her animation, she feels incredibly authentic to me and real. It's been a while since I watched the movie, but still, like, she doesn't trigger any negative emotions in me. She's an incredibly well-designed character. Everything about her, I absolutely love. But we're gonna get more into it in today's Reddit review. There is more th things people have issues with Belle, not just her appearance. I'm thrilled that we have Belle, but what the heck is up with her voice? She sounds like a knock-off Betty Boop style character. I guess you, you cannot have the same voice as the original movie because it's been such a long time ago. Most of the early Disney princesses from the classic movies had the same or at least very similar voice, but you didn't hear them within seconds of each other, so it wasn't a big deal. Now, you eventually have them all in the same place. They're gonna try extra hard to make them sound different. Okay, what does she sound like? Why is it so bad? I don't know. I just listened to some some of her little lines from my video from Belle of the Beast, uh, the realm one, and she doesn't sound offensive to me. I, I I don't remember to be honest how original sounds, but she doesn't even say anything. She just makes sounds and maybe occasionally says a word. It's not like she has dialogue in this game, so I I don't see a big deal. I honestly don't see a big deal. Here lies my moonstones. Yeah, yeah, that that's a cool by the way, cool 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 graveyard. I spent twenty two thousand moonstones and no regrets so far. Okay, I've actually seen a lot of people complaining also about zero as being not a actual zero but just a fox with a zero hat 
I'm gonna have to say that is that is a missed opportunity to add zero as a playable companion he would be first of all okay i i can i can see why why they didn't add because his movement is completely different from anything we currently have so it would be probably very complicated to design a believably looking zero that's gonna be follow you and like his ghostly flaps or flapping the proper like it's it's really very difficult to do probably and they went the easy route uh yeah it is a missed opportunity though i think i think they could have made it actual zero skin and charge more for it and people would still buy it but i still like the fox it's it's pretty cool fox we got the Pumpkin King outfit, so it makes sense to have a companion dress up for Halloween too. I think that's what they were going for. Yeah, it does make sense. I wonder if actual Zero will maybe potentially be introduced in the next Halloween. And yeah, potentially we can get uh, Nightmare Before Christmas Realm for the next Halloween, and uh, Zero is going to be one of the potentially rewards in the quest, friendship quest for Jack maybe? i 99 percent sure we're gonna get jack skellington as a playable character at some point in the future so i think it's not lost yet i think we can still get zero in the future bell is my favorite princess but ddv did not do her voice justice yeah i know i know a lot of people agree also there is a glitch apparently where they won't hang out with you it's like a, such a common glitch it keeps happening in, in, in every single update but with different characters first it was eric then it was who who couldn't hang out with you in the last update. I think it was a fairy godmother. Now it's Bell. So, all right. So here is the answer for your Bell voice uh, trouble. So basically, Paige O'Hara was the original voice of Bell, and she was voicing her until 2011. But by 2011, her voice had changed significantly to the point that someone had to take over. Julie Nathanson took over voicing Bell in 2011 and is voicing Bell for this game. So they are using the same voice actress as th that was used for Bell pretty much for the last 12 years. So they are staying true. Like they're not inventing some random voice for Bell. It's an official Bell's voice from 2011. It makes sense. Because in 1991, when the movie came out, this person, original person, was 34, 35 years old. Now she's 30, 67. Do you really want 67-year-old lady voice the young Belle character in this game? So this perfectly explains everything, and I don't see the reason to complain about it anymore. Apparently, Beast still has the same voice, though. Well, it's easy, because the Beast sounds like a very gruff man's voice so I, I guess even an old man can can make his voice still did bell dirty i agree 100 percent. the picture on the right did her dirty i wish they put her the way she is on the trailer in the game such a good character such a like natural looking pr <laughs> so pretty i don't know do you actually find the bell on the right more pretty i find the one on the left more pretty and she looks way more consistent with the rest of the characters. Oh boy. I'm going through this comment section. They tried their best. Not all Disney cartoons look good three-dimensional. Thank you. They're trying to turn 2D animation from 30 years ago into a playable 3D character. How? It's not going to be... It's not going to look exactly like in, in the cartoons. It's strange to me because her render on the front cover looks really good, so I don't know how in the game model became so off. It's not a render, it's an art. I almost posted the same thing, but was so scared of being ripped to pieces here for it. No, I've never seen anybody being ripped to pieces on Reddit. I don't know what, what you guys talking about being scared to post. Even if we don't agree with your opinion, it's still fine to post it. Nobody's going to rip you to shreds for it. If Vanessa looks prettier than someone literally called Beauty, we've got a problem. How on earth can you say that Vanessa is prettier than Belle? In my like, when I saw Belle first, I was like, Oh my god, she is gorgeous. I, I literally had a crush on her immediately when I saw her in the game. There is nobody in this game even close to being as beautiful as Belle. But that's just my opinion, and it's okay if you disagree with it.
Okay, look at Vanessa and Belle side by side. There's one thing I will agree with what people are saying about Belle. She does have a little bit wider shoulders than most other characters, but honestly, I don't find it unattractive at all. I just like a girl with wide shoulders. <laughs> Belle. Vanessa. Belle. Vanessa. I'm sorry, I just can't find anything wrong with her. Maybe something is wrong with me, I don't know. Anyway, let me know in the comments, guys, what do you think about the new Bell model? I, in my opinion, the most beautiful character in the valley, and uh, I, I wasn't super, like, excited like everybody else for her to come here, because for me, like, it, it wasn't, it wasn't my, one of my favorite cartoons ever. But now that she's here, and I see how amazing she looks, I'm like, I'm a fan. We're gonna hang out a lot in this valley. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much to all of our supporters. Our four epic demigods, Natalie Clark, Amanda Davis, Quince Cozy Corner, and Trudy. I'm gonna go do some Belle's friendship quests. I cannot wait to be her friend. And then potentially steal her from the beast and kidnap her and never let her go. Did I say that out loud? Anyway, I need to go now. Subscribe for more. And bye-bye.